Hi guys, my name is Nikunj and I'm back with another video. I hope everyone is staying home, they're staying safe and for those who have gotten their vaccinations, thumbs up and the rest, please go ahead and get your vaccinations done. It's very important. So today our saga for the extreme budget true wireless earbuds continues. Our contender for today is a product from Petron, the Base Buds True Wireless Earbuds and uh, these are the true wireless stereo earbuds apparently and uh, i got these from amazon for about uh, 900 rupees if i'm not wrong they're frequently available for under 1000 on amazon you can go ahead and check these out using the link in the description below so let's go ahead and unbox these and see what we have okay so this is the small little box that they come in at the back we have some information about the earbuds themselves um, they have 10 mm drivers, 10 meters of uh, transmission range. Again, that's Bluetooth 5.0 that they have. And uh, the earbuds themselves, they are capable of a total music playback of about 6 hours, 5 hours of talk time, 100 hours of standby time, and a total charging time of about 1.5 hours. And uh, the earbuds themselves, they have... 50 mAh batteries in them the size of the battery for the charging case here that's 400 mAh the MRP listed that's actually 2500 no other information apart from this uh, on the entire box just the branding and the name at the bottom so let's go ahead and open these up okay here we go so we have the case right here let's go ahead and peel this off decent sized case has small clips to kind of close them that's good we have the earbuds themselves let's take these out okay these are kind of chunky and these are buttons these do not have a touch interface let's go ahead and put these here and let's check out what we have in the box in the meanwhile Okay, uh, normal micro USB charging cable, no USB-C on this one and some ear tips, small and large. Normally, majority of the earbuds that you get in the market come with medium earbuds or medium ear tips attached on them. Okay, I think these do not have any battery right now. I would need to charge them first. Let me go ahead and charge these for a while and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so these have been charging for a while now. Uh, we have a small blue light over here that is currently blinking, showing us that it is currently charging. We have four LED lights at the front, which denote or which show the battery backup or the battery life, which is left in the case itself. Uh, one dot is 25%. Again, um, USB, micro B cable, not type C. Given the price point, this is not really something that I can, you know, fault them for. And here we have the buds themselves. So let me go ahead and get these connected. And let's see how these feel in the ear. Okay, first thing right out of the gate uh, that comes to me when I wo just wore these is that the fit although it's pretty secure I don't think these are going out of my ear anytime soon but probably because of the weight of the earbud itself if you see the earbud 
is pretty heavy and the stem that we have which actually rests inside your ear canal because this is an in-ear style right that's not very deep first and foremost plus the weight of the earbud itself which is uh you know on your ear in a way that's kind of heavy so you do feel these in your ear these i don't think these are going out anywhere anytime soon but yeah you would feel them and since they do protrude out of your ear to a certain extent it is not exactly a very you know comfortable fit and uh, i currently have the mediums installed so probably that might be one of the reasons but i do not feel that you know uh, noise isolation the way other in ear style earbuds feel so let me get these connected to my phone okay they do show up as petron base buds in the phone yeah and you get an assuring sound saying petron base buds are connected okay let's go ahead and play some music I'm currently at about 70%. Okay, uh, one tap or one click of the button over here is for play and pause. Yep. And I think play pause is all this is capable of because when I am using the double click on either, it's not switching the track or anything. Let's give this another shot. Okay. It just did that. It's just changing to, to the next track uh, using the right, using the left. It's not bringing me back to the previous track. Again, using the left as well, it moved me to the next track. Okay, I'll have to check uh, a little more regarding these. Okay, talking about the bass, uh, pretty heavy bass no mids whatsoever i cannot hear any sort of separation between the highs and the mids of uh, the song that i'm listening to and something which is really strange in these is the fact that although the preset that i'm using in my equalizer does not have any reverb set to it whatsoever but there is some mild effect of a sort of a reverb sort of a sound that i can hear when i'm listening to these Yeah, a little bit of reverb that I can hear. And yeah, the bass is really good. Uh, it is kind of overpowering at times. And uh, the mids are completely lost. So if you are someone who listens to a lot of music with, which has a lot of bass, then yeah, these are definitely for you. I don't think otherwise. No other person would like this particular sound profile. The vocals are really clear though, so that's a good sign. The bass is clear, the vocals are clear. Uh, at the end of a heavy beat, I do hear some vibrations, like when you hit the bass drum, you have some vibrations, right, at the end. I do hear that, but that's probably because of the preset that I'm using. I'll go ahead and try to change that once.
yeah no matter what preset i'm selecting it's the exact same thing so i don't really think that's going to make make much of a difference with the mids uh let me go ahead and try one more thing out with this no i tried uh, cranking the mids all the way up uh, still nothing uh, you do hear it if you crank it all the way up but uh, when you talk about the separation between the mids and the highs it's still not as profound as it's it is supposed to be in any sort of music um, especially if you're listening to instrumental tracks which i do listen to a lot with which is either completely instrumental or have extended patches of instrumental music this is not going to cut that out for me and uh, apart from that one more thing that jumps out while wearing these is yes the noise isolation while listening to the music is good um, otherwise it's not in my full uh, review while testing these because as i told you guys earlier i will be doing a video where i'll be comparing the three that i've done so far which are under 1000 this being one of them so i'll spend maybe a couple of days with these uh, maybe a day with each of them because i do need to test the battery life out as well so uh, just by listening to one or the other maybe for a couple of hours it's not going to give me a clear picture uh, of the battery life so i will spend some time with these in that regard so maybe one day per earbud is what i'm going to do so i'll give you uh, some more information about uh, all of these in that video and uh, I'll be making a phone call with these right now. I'll also record a small video clip using my phone with these connected and I'll share that with you as well after this. So here is a sample of the audio that you can expect out of these. I have these connected to my phone. I'm recording using the mic that we have in these. And uh, I just made a phone call as well, both a WhatsApp call and a normal phone call. Uh, the person that I was speaking to was not particularly happy with the way my sound was reaching them. Um, as per them, even if I was speaking loudly, they were not able to hear me properly. So that is something which tells me that probably the mics are not that good or there was some sort of an issue. But I don't think the issue would last on both a normal phone call and a whatsapp call as well it would be an either or sort of a scenario so there we go those were my thoughts on the petron bass buds uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below whether this is something that you would like to buy or this is something that you've already bought and let me know what your experience was with it uh stay tuned for the next video which is a comparison between the three true wireless earbuds that i have tried so far which are under 1000 rupees so i'll be making a detailed review of the three comparing the three and i'll tell you which is the best out of the three that i have tried so far so do subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss that video and until next time take care